notes in the journal suggest that straight out of prison, Merton went to the legendary cave. Leviota was supposed to have hunkered down there once. That's my next destination. Master Witcher, what luck to happen upon you. Got work for me? New contract? Of the contract in question, you acquitted yourself beautifully years past, on your last sojourn in Beauclair. I was in a bit of a bind at the time, do you remember? Yet I swore a solemn vow to pay you in full one day. Guess it rings a bell. Sadly, you went on your way before I could settle matters with you. So, I took your coin and placed it in an account for safekeeping. Hmm. What kind of account? A savings account at Chanfanelli Bank. You need but walk in and withdraw. The sum must be rather substantial by now. Thanks. Head over there first chance I get. Please disperse! The exhibition is closed! What's this about? Oh, Lapiota, give me strength. I can't bear this, please! I believe I've been clear. No presentation today. Oh, wait! Are you not that famous witcher, Geralt to Frivia? I believe I have work for you. Saw your notice. Mentioned a monument. The matter is a delicate one, but mind you, I pay well. Unless I can say no more at this stage. Interested? The statue. Just tell me, what's the problem? A picture's worth a thousand words. More, I dare say. Come with me. I'll show you. Here it is! Our pride and joy, Reginald Daubry. A giant among lovers. A poking, puncturing swordsman, and atop all that, an unrifled titler of harps and other organs. Mm -hmm. So what's wrong with it? How should I put this? It's lost its jewels. Somebody stole the testicles off a statue. No ordinary statue, mind you. The sole monument made using a cast of the great Reginald's own genitals. Certified and authenticated. Sprung directly from his loins, they grant all who stroke them unparalleled virility. All who buy a ticket, that is. Thus, you must retrieve those stones. Got my attention. Now tell me about this Reginald, all you know. There's so much to tell. Legend has it, he and the architect Faramont planned and laid out Beauclair. Hmm. Impressed already. In particular, Reginald took great pains to devise escape routes for lovers caught with their pants down. 
literally and metaphorically. He later made frequent use of them himself. Not out of fear, mind you, but to avoid having to kill his rifles in duels. Got any suspects? Considering the vast potency of Reginald's prized pouch, everyone's a suspect. Who would not want it for himself? Any idea when the theft took place? It must have been mere hours ago. I guided the last group through the exposition quite recently. Stones were very much in place. Need to look around. Might find a clue or two. Do what you must. As long as you return grasping Reginald's stones. Without them, Beauclair's entire tourist sector faces trying times. Trying times. Saw marks are straight and clean. Precision castration, I'd call us. this. Dried blood stain. Piece of coat fabric caught on the nail. Heavy on cologne. Smell it'll lead me to the thief. Diamond saw blade. Perpetrator's tool. It will all work out. Sound leads to this door. Sorry to interrupt, I guess. This, this is not what it seems. <laughs> Word of honor. I, I, I tripped, rolled, tumbled, and landed where she already lay. Psst! Hughes! That's not him! I, I swear, this is all an unfortunate coincidence. A series thereof. What? <sighs> that's not my husband! You mean, not... Not your husband? Who are you? And why are you in my home? Out! Now! Or I'll summon the guards! Watch your tone, Gramps. Just here to talk. I... Uh, I believe we have nothing to talk about. Oh, we do. We do. Just to kick things off, you're in great form for a man your age. <clears throat> uh, I eat well, start the day with a glass of wine. That preserves a body wonderfully. Interesting. Might try it. Say, ever heard of Reginald Dobry, his statue? <laughs> Everyone in the city's heard of it. Reginald's a paragon, a national hero. Cut the bullshit, Hughes. You stole Reginald's testicles. Know that already. I... Uh, I can explain everything. Um, this... Rosalinda! I know you're in there! You and that fancy pants of yours! Oh no, not him too. This really is not my day. Got you, you rogue! Prepare for a shelikin, skeleton. What the love's this? Rosalinda! One I could forgive you, but two at one time! Wait, got nothing to do with this. <sighs> Take me for a fool! I'll teach you to fish in another man's pond! <sighs> got no time for this. Go home. Y yes That'll be best. I I'm done here. I don't know you, but that would have gone horribly for me had you not intervened. I thank you for saving my skin. Mm hmm. So, time to talk. <sighs> Rosalinda, my dove, please allow us a moment. All right. 
I admit I stole the stones. And you will never believe it. But they work. Today, Rosalinda and I, well, three times and counting. Three times? Impressive. Isn't it? At my age? That's more than the entire lost decade. All the same, you stole those stones and you gotta return them. Listen, perhaps we might strike a deal, hmm? Let me keep the stones. I'll pay you. Grant me this, I beg you. They... They've made me young again. No chance. Need to take the stones, pure and simple. But... But if you were to leave them with me for, for a day or two... Uh, three at the most... Shit out of luck. Sorry. At the day's end... It's good I had a chance to use them at all. Here, take them. Thanks. And good luck. Actually think you'll do just fine without them. Well, have you recovered Reginald's family jewels? Yep, got them back. Lepiotus, luscious lips, it's them! It's really them! I hope this modest reward nonetheless conveys the extent of my gratitude. And look in on us tomorrow for the grand reopening. You shall stroke Reginald at no charge on the house. Slips of paper all over. Prayer on each one. Maybe Merton left one too. For four generations. That is how long my family has been producing wine. Producing Plonk unfit to drink, you mean? Which is exactly why you should sell Belgat to me, not him. <clears throat> As a ducal clerk, I must look after the duchy's best interests. Belgat currently belongs to the treasury. The minister of the treasury has clearly expressed his desire that Belgard be handed over to a responsible steward. Yet, diverse troubles beset both your present holdings. Until you resolve them and thus prove yourselves competent, selling Belgard to either of you is out of the question. Well, Happy, this is your fault! Mine? You're deranged, woman! Hark! Good folk! Be it known, Matilda de Vermentino is a cursed, spiteful lunatic! Doesn't look cursed to me. Just really, really angry. Ticked her off quite a bit, you have. Truly? How would you know? A shrew tamer, are you? Better. A connoisseur. <laughs> I see we speak the same tongue. So tell me. The swords, you merely wear them to intimidate? Or do you actually use them? Tools of my trade. I'm a witcher. Not seeking work, are you? Y you see, I wish to buy a vineyard. Belgard. Yet that bloody bureaucrat's not likely to sell it to me until I settle my troubles at home, at Coronata. What kind of troubles we talking about? Ah, uh, it's botched in more ways than one. The herbarium. Infested with monsters. My steward gone missing with an entire transport of wine. And someone's abducted my herbalist. A lot of bad luck for one little vineyard. If you ask me, it's that Matilda. Her handiwork. A sugar sweet face, a temper sharp as horseradish. So will you help? Good look into it, but not for free. That goes without saying. What is your rate? That sounds fair. Sure sounds like work for a witcher. Yeah, I'll help. I am really, truly grateful. Thank you. My vineyard lies east of here. You're sure to find it. Now forgive me. I must talk to that quill pusher. I might win him over yet. Psst. 
You're a witcher, yes? I heard you talking to that oafish ogre, Liam. Disgusting man. The worst sort. First, seduces with a dashing gaze, the fair face, then reveals a coal black heart. But that's all beside the point. I stopped you because I want to buy Belgat too. Alas, things are rotten at my own vineyard, Vermentino. Hmm. Strange coincidence. No coincidence. I am certain Liam's thrown a stick in my spokes. Several sticks. My Cooper and Blacksmith both have mysteriously vanished. Man-eating plants have sprouted on my paths, and strange things are afoot on Pheasant Hill. Ah, the list goes on, but the crux is one. I must solve my problems at Vermentino if I'm to stand any chance of acquiring Belgard. Would you help me before you help Leon? I'm willing to pay more than he's offered you. I sense we're close. Very close. I sense we're close. Very close. Fine. Settled. I can help. Please try. Wonderful. You've no idea how much that means to me. My vineyard lies due west. I shall stay here for a time. I must make certain Liam does not pull some stunt while my back is turned. Gotcha. Farewell. I'm round to take a crack at the beast. Can outsiders sign up, or is this a closed event? Piss off, rat mob! Hop, skip, trot! Mind your manners. Oh, we'll ah. you good! Oh. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> Saint Lebioda sent you. I must now repair my wagon. They await me at the building site. So long. Temple Merton wrote about, seems like. Should look around. Might find something interesting. In a place like this, behind the wall, some poor fellow up. Spirit can't rest in peace. Pathetic. Spirit won't rest in peace until I bury the remains. Some sarcophagi in the first chamber. One of them could work. Ready. 
soul should rest in peace now. Stick that necklace in your bloomers. Did you think I wouldn't see? We agreed. Gentlemen, it's for you. Why men throw their lives away attacking an armed witcher? I'll never know. Something wrong with my face? Like Merton wrote about, gotta be. Nice place, pretty as hell. Greetings. I hope your search goes well.
Managed to find something already. Wonderful. I shall draft a copy. This is good. This at last will earn me the title of Grand Master. I thank you, Witcher. Farewell. Good luck on the path. Regis. Ah, there you are. Might we set off for Tesha Mudna now? See no reason to dawdle. Tesha Mudna. Take me there. In a moment. Just one last thing. What was that? Uh, blood. Oh, the last favor the Raven did me. I've also taken some Sangurium. A solution that sharpens one's sense of smell. One drop of blood shall smell like a gallant to me now. You crazy? You're a recovering addict. Your outrage warms my heart, Geralt. But you must remain calm. I have no choice. As things stand, the die is cast. High time we set off for Tesh and Mutna. My head's spinning already, and you're... You're starting to smell quite tasty. And you're starting to scare me. We have arrived. The sacrificial chamber of torture and torment lies underground. Sure you know what you're doing? I can only hope I do. Please, let's go. The longer we delay, the less control I shall have of my faculties. I'd really prefer not to hurt you. You lead. Scurvers must be getting close to their feeding ground. Correct. I told you there'd be danger. <sighs> Beyond this wall lies... An ancient vampire dungeon. Seen a lot of things in my time. Nothing quite like this, though. My, I feel honored. A man with such a wealth of experience, yet I'm about to show him something new. Now, to open it. How the hell? It's an ancient form of protection against unwanted guests. The mechanism which releases the latch reacts only to a higher vampire's blood. Tricky mechanisms, a vampire hideout. Fortified, secured. Must have been important to your species once, Toussaint. It shall always be so. During the conjunction, the gate from our well into this one opened upon this land and no other. This was the first place we saw. Human husbandry and care? This for real? The author observed humans, their behavior, over the many years he spent breeding them. Morally suspect though it may be, it's a thorough survey of the topic. This place. There's evil here. Death hangs in the air. Yes. A great many beings have breathed their last here.
glyphs are carved into the rock. Coated with blood used to be. They mean something? They're emblems. Symbols of uh, what you would call tribes. Dispersed throughout the world after the conjunction. My ancestors placed them here to remind us all where we came from. Seems your kind assembled a peculiar little library. Indeed. Though I personally did not lay a hand to it. Sell and this one? Who for? Which tribe's this? Garishan. My tribe, and Detlaf's. We both remained in this part of the world. Charming place. But what are all those cages for? Mentioned one vampire being kept here. Yes, well, you see, humanitarians is something my ancestors were not. They concluded Kagmar would best be punished if he were tormented with the scent of blood he could not taste. Thus, they also kept humans here. Humans whose blood they slowly let. Kagmar ranted and raged in pain as those. Those humans slowly bled to death. They treated them like livestock. Live bait. I'd like to be able to turn back time. Deny it, but alas, I can do neither. Feel shame for my brethren. That is all I can do. Don't take it so hard. Nothing you could have done about it. Let's get to work. Well, that was awkward. Fine. I prepared the bait. Please be so kind and place it. Ideally at the tunnel entrances. The scent will spread most effectively then. When I think how these tunnels got here, sent It was the natural order of things. The place reeked of death and it attracted necrophages. Three done, one left. Bait set. What now? I shall enter the cage. You must chain me inside. The bars are made of an alloy that will prevent me from transforming into mist. Kinda thought you wouldn't want to. I shall be in great pain. My sole thought being to stop that pain. I cannot know what I will do. We must hurry. The beasts have caught the scent also my head. I started spinning. That the blood? Uh, someone who's never experienced a vampire's bloodlust does not know the true meaning of thirst. Safe word. You know, something you'll say when you can't take it anymore. And what would you do once I uttered it? Don't know. Uh, calm you down. Somehow. Please. You won't be able to. Mm -hmm. You just smelled the blood. <laughs>
it in this state. Tell me how. I'll help you. Any better? Far from ideal. And some time must pass before I fully recover. But yes, a bit better. Thank you. Never expected it to be like that. You didn't tell me. We need not discuss it. But we do. Because if I'd known you were going to subject yourself to torture... What would you have done? Found dead laugh some other way. I did not wish you to use any other way. Did that occur to you? No. Because I thought no being would ever willingly subject itself to that kind of pain. You vampires aren't any different from us in that regard. I told you. The pain is my way of paying my debt. The enormous debt I owe dead laugh. If I had to do it again, I would, in a heartbeat. Resonance, it's ready. Are you certain you followed the formula? The proportions were exact, the brewing time precise. This is important, Geralt. The slightest deviation could cost even a witcher dearly. Relax. Got some experience brewing potions. Very well. In that case, let's begin. Excuse me. I shall only take a moment. You jump the queue, sir. But Count, sir, you must understand. I've a meeting. The Count. Sir, you were next. Please take a seat. This gentleman was here first. Step down, or you shall regret it. Ah, <laughs> fails to realize he was your friend, Count. Was then I ordered him to give up his seat and step off the stand. If only you'd seen his face. 
We got him good, didn't we, Detlav? And then Mother insisted we buy the mill. <laughs> Curious, eh? At least I've a yarn to spin for friends and associates. Forgive me. What? Awake at last, you ride like a squirrel caught in a snare. I'd begun to fear they were death throes, that you'd departed. <clears throat> uh, uh, sure wasn't pleasant, but it worked. What did you see? Delacroix. His death did not come easy. Seems dead laugh had made friends with him, still killed him, chopped up his corpse. And he was overcome with fury, remorse, cut off the hand that had committed the murder. Hmm, interesting. And entirely unlike the Detlef I know. See anything else? Saw a moment. Delacroix did something selfless. Was kind to Detlef. Guess it could have been the start of their friendship. Why the uncertainty? Nothing extraordinary about it. Normal, everyday situation, really. Visions were supposed to issue from strong emotions. Clearly, the situation provoked such emotions in Detlaf. Keep in mind, he did later murder Delacroix. Killing someone who's grown dear to us, it's bound to elicit strong emotion. Vampires are no different in that regard. Did you see anything else? There was something. Showed up twice in the vision. A boot black stand. Detlaf first met Delacroix there. Went back after the murder, actually. Peculiar. Stand was somewhere in the port district. And the boot black acted as if he knew Detlaf. Hmm. That would be even odder. Perhaps we should have a chat with the lad. Though I would expect no breakthroughs. It's our only lead. I'll go talk to him. Coming with. I shall join you later if it's no trouble. I don't yet feel strong enough to venture out. That's fair. Rest up. Be back as soon as I learn anything. So how would you explain it? Whether it pours for a week or the sun bakes our pates, we've always mud up to our ankles here. You can't blame me for Beauclair's fickle weather. Fickle weather? I've seen you. You empty your chamber pot in front of our shop each morn, so folks will dirty their boots, go to you to get them cleaned. A far-fetched conspiracy theory, sirs. I'll conspire to welt your bum with my belt. Come here. Leave him alone. Just who the spit are you? A witcher. And I'd advise you to go back where you came from. I thought witches defend men from monsters, not cheats from justice. Need to talk to the boy. You can chat to him all you like, after we tan his hide. So stand down. Not gonna happen. Won't it? Well, then we'll thrash you as well. Which is all the same to me. Shit. 
What's the meaning of this? The brawl? Who started it? I'm investigating the beast, on the Duchess's orders. Ah, yes. We've heard of you. And these men? What are they doing? Obstructing my investigation. Understood. Right. A few days in the clink ought to teach them not to impede official duchy business. Come on. You're very good with your fists, sir. Wouldn't be looking for work, would you? We'd make a fine duo. Yeah? How you imagine that working? Splendidly. That's how. I suggest a partnership, where I see to the boots while you stand guard, and as you're the stronger, come morn you take the chamber pot out and help me make mud. Bit about the mud's true. They were right to want to box your ears. I've got to make a living somehow, so what say you, sir? Partners? Let me think about it. Listen, I'm interested in a certain gentleman. Oh, wait, wait! Before we get to talking, please, take a seat. But my boots are clean. In this city, no boots are clean unless they've just come off my stamped. A seat, sir, please. So then, who was it you wanted to ask about? One of your patrons. Tall, elegant black frock. Not from around here. An arrival? Hmm, indeed. I hear a faint bell ringing. A modest sum might make it sing out loud and clear. How much? Let's say... 500 crowns. What? Gotta be kidding me. What would you even do with that kind of coin? Expand my venture. I'm sure you can imagine. Have a proper stand, with a big sign. I want a new box, too. New polishes, new brushes. And, if I've enough coin left, I'll buy a share in a launderer's. Get waste water for free. Hmm. <laughs> Got it all planned out. I should think so. Capital is all I require. No way. Not about to contribute to your shady venture. You'll tell me what you know, for free. Yes, sir. Of course, sir. As you wish, sir. I know the fellow you seek, though I don't know his name. A steady patron. Gets his boots cleaned every few days. He's very good to me. Always pays me a premium. Know where I might find him? No. But you could wait here. Perhaps he'll stop by. Don't have the time for that. Sure you don't know where to find him? Or maybe notice which direction he came from? When I clean boots, sir, I do not look up to see where folk come from. I clean. It seems you're having a rough go of it. Oh, you're here. Feeling better? I am, thank you. The local necropolis. The air does wonders for me. Now, if I might intercede, I dare say I've the right question to ask. Young man, you see this vial? One drop added to your boot polish will help you wipe even the most encrusted boot clean as the dome of St. Lebioda's Cathedral. With it, you will serve three times as many patrons at a fraction of the effort and piles more coin. I'm prepared to give you this vial if you tell me where the man we seek lives. Uh, but you won't hurt him, will you? The gentleman's art, true, but he's kind. In point of fact, he's a friend. Yet we had a falling out of sorts and would like to straighten matters out. I leave his boots at the door of a house near the port. The door is red. But I do not know if the gentleman lives there. Worth checking. Might happen on a lead. Would you let me scrape the dirt off your kickers before you go? With all due respect, sirs, your boots could stand a cleaning. Thank you. Perhaps later.
don't budge. Gotta break it down. You might just as well stand out in the street, pound on a drum and holler, Detlaf, I'm coming for you. A bit more finesse, I implore you. Let's hear your idea. Give me a moment. Nice. Ever consider becoming a burglar? A skill like that had come in awful handy. I considered it briefly, but ultimately concluded it would be terribly dull. Come. Recently, his scent is still strong. Let's look around. Old toy. No use to anyone. Shame. Must have brought someone joy sometime. I find these puppets rather disturbing. Somebody fixed this recently. No dust mark. Somebody moved this here recently. I find these puppets rather disturbing. Attic, let's go. So this is his nest. Need to look around. Detlaf van der Heretain, you do not know us, but we know you to be a vampire. We know also of your weakness for the wench they call Renoed. Now you know this. We shall chain her down and let rats feed on her. We shall flay the skin from her flesh. Yet you can save her. You need but travel to Beauclair, where you shall slay five men in the manner we prescribe. You must complete the killing in three days. Fail, and the next letter you receive will contain a memento of your failure, your beloved's finger. There you have it. Proof positive Detlaf killed not of his own accord. A blackmailer sunk his claws into him. Any idea what it could be? Detlaf have any enemies? Indeed. Detlaf gains foes occasionally, but they never live long. One might have managed to evade him. Possible in theory. But I know of none. It would have to be someone devilishly dangerous. As you well know, having faced Detlaf yourself, whoever it is, it is someone new. Who's Renawed? His one-time lover. The sole human woman with whom he was very close. Because she accepted him. With her aid and care, he found a place for himself in this hostile world. She began the work that I strive to continue. Never meet her? Never had the pleasure, alas. She deserted him a time before he came round to save me, though he always claimed she'd gone missing. Why do you think that? Any signs or clues to that effect? None to be found. Apparently she disappeared one day. Her belongings disappeared with her. Not a scenario one associates with kidnapping. In my humble opinion, she left on her own. Scared off, perhaps, by a bout of Detlaf's rage that revealed his other, more monstrous side. Detlaf have trouble letting go, accepting that she'd left him. Is that so hard to believe? Do you know no humans who've struggled with just such a thing? And Detlaf is so much more emotional than most humans. Not only was she his beloved, his lover, his mate, she was a member of his pack. And one never leaves one's pack voluntarily. Even if Renawed did abandon him that time, looks like someone's actually kidnapped her this time. Hard to argue with that. And hard to foresee what he's prepared to do to free her, get her back. He's prepared to kill, that's clear. As would you be for Yennefer. He kills, for he cares for her deeply. And that blood, 
those individuals, they mean nothing to him. Yeah, I get it now. He's out to rescue a female from his pack. Exactly. Right, so someone's blackmailing him. We know that. Still have no idea who. Need to look around some more. Tools were used recently. Dedlov unwind by fixing toys between murders. Really now, Geralt, must you? Nice tune. Indeed. I'm not certain why, but it reminds me of home. Our true home from before the conjunction of spheres. Look, slips of paper, name on each. Count Crespi, Count Dulac, Milton de Peyrac Peyron, Count de La Croix. Detloff's victims, one and all. But that's not his hand. Must have come from whoever wrote the letter. All of it written using the same ink. See the color? Ink was dyed with cinnabarite. Rare mineral, pretty much found only in... Nazaire. But I fear it means very little. Anyone could have imported such ink. Fair enough. Still worth remembering. Look, this slip is stained. With wine. Not much to go on either. Especially not in Beauclair. Perhaps. Yet perhaps also worth remembering. Let's sum up what we know. Seems Deadlaugh's being blackmailed. Someone's been feeding him his victims' names. All noted down using one and the same Nazari ink. And not in his handwriting. Not much. But enough to ascertain Detloff's innocence, clearly. Not how I'd put it. Doubt it's how the Duchess will see it either. I trust you to convince her. And then... What? Go on, don't be shy. See you've got it all figured out. Including the grin I gotta wear. It's a rather bold plan, but... Were we to find Renawed, we would strip the blackmailers of their hold on Detloff. That's one idea. Hmm. Could be worth a shot. But what about Detlaf? He gonna go on killing while I'm out searching for his lover? He will not. I shall convince him to stay his hand. Assure him you're a friend seeking to help. I'll await him here. He's sure to return sooner or later. Think he'll listen? He will. I'll await with you, maybe. No. He'll sense you from a mile off. Simply fail to appear. I'd better stay alone. You must trust me on this. Fine. Need to report to the Duchess first. So be it. We'll await you here. Detlaf and I both. <laughs>